Caddis. Maximus here, this time with a review of the Performance Tool Exhaust Manifold Spreader. Really, this is a miniature screw jack. Did want to mention that if you do shop at auto parts stores, there are independents. Many independent auto parts stores are very small local chains. I recommend supporting them. I was going by an auto parts store that uh, has been around since the 1960s and with the pandemic and competition from chains and them being a little bit backwater, they decided to call it quits. And so uh, they were having a business closing sale, 60% off. So I did what I could to support them and got a bunch of performance tool stuff because they had a whole bunch of their specialty stool, uh, tools. So this is going to be perform a PT tool week, that's for sure. I've also a little bit of research online seeing the variety of stuff they had. The wheelhouse for performance tool, what really keeps them around is that they do have a huge variety of a lot of very specialized tools. And so that's what keeps them around is if you haven't trying to find a special tool, it's possible PT may have it. So this is sold as an exhaust manifold spreader for a uh, uh, GM. General Motors V8, they show it as spreading the, the flange of the exhaust manifold apart because apparently they warp and you can't, once you pull them off, you can't reinstall them. Uh, GM vehicles are special apparently that way. <laughs> anyway, these are two counter-threaded fasteners with some pretty deep V-grooves in them. So this can be used for a variety of things besides spreading exhaust manifolds because you can exert a huge amount of force. I thought this could be handy in certain situations where you're having trouble maybe getting an engine to uh, align with engine mounts, suspension components, maybe installing transmissions where there may be a situation where you can use this. It's about three inches uh, long collapse and about four and a half inches is about uh, the maximum uh, extension. And so you would just turn this. And so e the screw on each side is uh, threaded opposite each other. So when you turn this, it causes both of them to uh, unthread. Pretty nice fasteners, pretty decent chrome plating. They did uh, grease them from the factory. And because of this uh, machine thread and the nature of this tool, you can get huge amounts of force, huge amounts of force, uh, hydraulic levels of force because of the ratio that you have with the screw threads. And then of course, it's a 19 millimeter or three quarter inch wrench. So you'd be using a uh, open end wrench or something like that. You could even use a ratcheting opening end wrench to adjust this. And so you could use it to press or to push things apart. There may be some other type of industrial applications where having uh, a pretty stout little screw jack like this can be pretty handy. It would be, I'm sure there's uh, somewhere out there you can find like a whole set of different links of these. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick review of this performance tool. I think, you know, online they're around $10, $12 or something like that. They do recommend having multiples. They only had one in the shop. Multiples because you need two of these uh, to spread apart both uh, flanges on the manifold uh, in that particular use application. But I could certainly see where they'd be handy to have multiples. Other than that, it's a pretty simple little tool, but uh, I thought, wow, this could actually come quite in handy. Uh, there'd be those situations where you're just, you know, how am I going to get this uh, pushed over in a line? And you realize, well, I have this tool here and uh, that will help do the job. So these type of things aren't used very often, but uh, when you know you have them available and can use them, they can just be, save you a tremendous amount of frustration. Uh, kind of surprising little screw jacks like this. So anyway, that was my uh, review of the Performance Tool Mini Screw Jack. This thing is uh, pretty neat, and we'll be getting into more PT special uh, specialty tools as the week progresses. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.